tonight at just how much Oregon has been impacted by the homeless crisis since the start of the pandemic and how we compare with the rest of the U.S. Jamie Seymour digging deeper tonight as we learn just how much has changed when it comes to homelessness. Those are lists where you don't want to rank near the top. Drive around Portland and it's hard to ignore the blocks lined with tents as the homelessness crisis becomes more severe. But now data is also showing just how much this crisis continues to grow. We actually just had our busiest month since we reopened indoor services. In a report through the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, looking at homelessness across the country from 2020 to 2022, the Pacific Northwest saw some of the highest numbers of people unhoused. Nearly 18,000 in Oregon and more than 25,000 in Washington. Among the states that saw the largest increases during those two years, Oregon came in fourth with an increase of 3,300 people, up 22% compared to the year before. Oregon and Washington saw the second and third largest increases in those experiencing chronic homelessness. And for people and families with children experiencing homelessness, Oregon had the highest percentage of those unsheltered living in spaces like tents, a situation seen from Portland all the way to rural central Oregon. A lot of it is a math problem. We have homelessness because we don't have enough homes. But as daunting as those numbers appear, there's also hope. Oregon saw one of the biggest decreases in unaccompanied youth who are homeless. Nonprofit Blanche House in Portland works with the unhoused every day, providing everything from food to transitional housing programs. And state lawmakers just passed more than 200 million in funds for homelessness response and solutions like affordable housing. In a statement recognizing the federal report, Governor Kotek's office said, quote, house keys and homelessness and creating more homes will reduce housing costs and decrease the risk of homelessness in the state. As opposed to pointing fingers about who's doing what, let's just work on solutions and making sure that everyone has a way to have affordable housing, affordable food, afford affordable services. That was Jamie Seymour.